In this video, we're going to discuss IP Term, which is a Docker appliance available in the GNS3 marketplace. Now, because this device is Linux, we can use any Linux command, such as apt get update. This will update the package references on the Linux container. And then we can do things such as apt get install Python. So I'm busy downloading Python from the internet and installing it into this container. I could also install Python 3. So I've downloaded both Python 2 as well as 3 to this container. Be careful, however, when you close GNS3, you'll lose these updates to your container. But this is a very simple way to get started with Python. So I'm going to type Python, and notice I'm using version 2.7.9. And this is full-blown Python, so 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 10 equals 11, 3 times 3 equals 9. And because this is very elementary Python, we've got to do a hello world. So print hello world. So it was as simple as that to get Python running in a container. If I want to start Python 3, I'd use the Python 3 command. And notice Python 342 has now started in this container. Notice the difference now when I try and type hello world like I did in Python 2, I get an error message. So we have to use the correct format for this version of Python. So I'll go back to Python 2. Notice I can simply type print hello world like this. Python 2.7 is a lot simpler, but Python 3 is the future. You need to be careful because a lot of operating systems have Python 2 built in. So here I'm on my Mac. If I type Python, notice I am on Python 2.7. So by default on a lot of devices, you're going to get Python 2.7 rather than Python 3. Here's an example with a Nexus device. I'll start that up. And I'll also drag a Arista, switch into the topology. So the Arista is now booting up. And the Nexus is booting up. I'll speed the video up, but what you'll notice when these boot up is that they're also using Python 2 rather than Python 3. But the thing to take note of is IP Term is a Linux-based container available in GNS3. You can see that it uses the Docker icon. If I hover my mouse over it, it says Docker container has started. If I go to GNS3 preferences, Docker containers, you'll notice that IP Term is available as a Docker container. Now these switches take a long time to boot up whereas my Docker containers start up almost instantly. So I'll log in to my Nexus switch, show version. You can see that this is running a Nexus operating system. And if I type Python here and type print hello world, notice I can get my switch to run Python code and I could quit back to the switch CLI. The same is going to be true on the Arista switch when it boots up. So there we go. I'll log in as an admin. Type enable. Type Python. Notice I'm on the Python shell. So print hello world. And there you go. Type 
Python tab. Notice I'm back in the Python shell. I need to press Control D here rather than quit. So Control D, I'm back on the switch console. Python tab here. The only option I have is for Python. And notice I can do a quit to get back to the switch console. So let me know, would you like me to create more Python videos? Would you like me to create more Linux videos? What's gonna help you? Let me know. I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.